guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my June Fairy Loot unboxing. Fairy Loot is a bookish subscription box that I've been doing unboxings for for the past few months, and now I'm officially a full time Fairy Loot rep, and I'm really, really excited about it. So, that also means that you can use my coupon code Hannah to get 5% off of your three or six month subscription. That coupon code is totally just for you guys, I gain nothing from it, but if you're interested in checking out Fairy Loot for yourself, you can totally go ahead and use it. Fairy Loot is one of my favorite subscription boxes because they're fantasy based, and I really love fantasy. So I always love the items and the themes that they have. But this month's theme is Elementals, and I am so, so excited for this box because when they announced it, they announced that they were going to have an Avatar The Last Airbender themed item, and you all know how much I love Avatar The Last Airbender. So obviously, I was very, very excited for this box, and I still am, and I cannot wait to open it. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get into this box so we can see what Avatar item is in here. So on the very top, there is the gorgeous, gorgeous card that has the theme on it, which is Elementalists. Oh, Elementalists, not Elementals. I was saying that wrong. <laughs> the theme is Elementalists, and I really just love the artwork that they use for every month's theme. I need to find out who designs these. They probably have it listed somewhere, but like, I love their artwork. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm seeing right off the bat is a gorgeous, gorgeous pillowcase. It has a quote by Stephen King that says, books are a uniquely portable magic with this beautiful book design. I love it so much. The artist for this is Miss Fee, so I will leave a link to their social media in the description box if you would like to check out some of their other art. But like, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful pillowcase. And I love whenever Fairy Loot includes tote bags and pillowcases because they just have the most beautiful designs. Okay, I see the Avatar The Last Airbender item and I'm so, so excited about it. So it is a Water Tribe chapstick and I am so in love with this. So on the card, it says that you could get one of the four nations. And the fact that I got the Water Tribe makes me really happy because it's my favorite and because I would be a waterbender, so I feel like it's a sign. <laughs> but it smells really good, it's just a really minty scent, and if I wasn't wearing lipstick, I would try it out right now. But I love this so much, and it's going to stay in my purse forever until I finish using it, and then I'll be sad, because I'll want another one. <laughs> Ooh, okay, the next thing that's in here is this gorgeous candle, which is Witchwood Remedies Firestorm is the candle, and it's like so beautiful, do you see that? Like it has all these like dried flower petals or something in it. But let's open it up so I can see what it smells like. Okay, that has a really strong scent. I'm trying to figure out what the scent is. Like it has a lot of spices, but I can't place them. Oh, okay, so you can get one of five different candles, which is really cool. So I think I got like the fiery one because it's Firestorm. But yeah, I'm not sure what the scent is. It's just like very spicy and it's a bit too overwhelming for me personally, but it's really, really pretty. So I would definitely like display this, but I'm not sure that I would burn it. Okay, the next thing that's in here is this very exclusive clairvoyance soap and it's white fig and pomegranate scented which like I love figs and I love pomegranates so this sounds like it smells delicious I can actually smell it like through the packaging and it truly does like this smells so so good again it's like a bit overwhelming but it's very like fruity this time so I like it okay I love this next thing so so much so it is this adorable little bracelet it has a charm of a hand on it and then one small little bead on the side and it's adorable I really like simplistic jewelry, so this is exactly the sort of thing that I would wear. The next thing that's in here are these adorable little sticky notes, which are potion sticky notes, and they remind me a lot of Harry Potter, and I like them. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is this postcard for the Frostblood series, and it has a quote on it that says, destroy the throne, kill the king, take your revenge. It has a picture of these mountains, and it kind of looks like it's burning. I really like it. <laughs> the next thing that's in here is a sampler, a fairy loot exclusive sampler of The Walking Land by Callie Bates. I've never heard of this before, but I really like the art on the cover. The back of it says Magic Romance Revolution, the first book in an astonishing new trilogy, perfect for fans of Sarah J Maas and Lee Bardugo. Well, I am a very big Lee Bardugo fan, so maybe I will try picking this up. And finally, the book that is in this month's box is Roar by Cora Carmack. This book follows the story of this girl named Aurora living in this fantasy world, and she is the heir to her kingdom, but she does not have any magical abilities yet, which is a requirement to becoming the queen. And she's keeping the secret from her family, so they try and arrange a marriage with a different prince from a different kingdom, but then she finds out that he also has lots of his own secrets going on as well, which leads to lots of trouble. So it sounds like it's going to be really, really interesting, and I also think that the magic is like element themed, which is why this has the elementalists theme. But yeah, it sounds really fascinating, and I actually just got another copy of this book in my unicorn crate box, so I now have two copies, which means I'll probably be doing a giveaway on one of these. So make sure to check my Twitter or Instagram because that's probably where I'll be doing it and I'll be giving away one of these copies. And then of course the very last thing
thing that is in here is the note from the author, which I'm excited to read and I'm also kind of excited to see if it's different from the one that she wrote for the Unicorn Crate box. I'm sure that it will be, but like I want to know what the differences are. And of course, as always, there is the fairy scoop that they have every month and then the back, which includes next month's theme, which is Tricksters and it's going to have Six of Crows themed items and I am so ready and here for it. <laughs> yeah, it says it's the perfect box for fans of Six of Crows, Harley Quinn, Harry Potter, Loki, and Sherlock. And like the Six of Crows and Harry Potter part just like stuck out to me and I was like, I need this box right now. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything that was in this month's Fairy Loot box. As always, a huge, huge thank you to Fairy Loot for sending this box my way. I'm so excited to be a rep officially now. And again, don't forget that I have my 5% off coupon code if you guys would like to try out Fairy Loot for yourself. But that is just about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>